I forgot to do an intro before I did the first one. So, hey, how y'all doing out there? Jack and Jill Motorod. It's Wes from the MOA. We're going to be tearing apart this cylinder head. It's a lot of fun. I already did the fumbling around, you know, loser, like an adolescent one. So now I'm just going to crank through this one. I got all the tools I need out, which is uh, surprisingly few, believe it or not. You need a T45, Torx 45 bit. You need a Torx 30 bit. You need a 10 millimeter wrench. You need a three millimeter Allen. And a little bit of patience to tell you the truth. So here I'm taking the lock nuts off the valve adjusters. These are the rockers. We've got to get the housing apart so that we can get the rockers out and uh, get these other things off of here. Almost all of this is going to end up in the recycling bin. We're not trying to save any of it. That pops right off. That's the rocker. Two of them, one for the exhaust, one for the intake. That's a push rod. There's two of those. The cups that the push rods are in won't come out until everything on the other side of this assembly comes off. So we gotta get to that stuff. Switch tools here. Whoops. the cam lobes in this assembly. I'm going to use this hopefully to get a little leverage so I can take this apart. Is that the 35? Nope, that's the 45.
greasy. These are the cam followers. You got to take everything up. You got to take this little assembly apart before you can get to those. Those are steel. They got some weight to them. Now we can get the valves out. We've got our valve spring compressor. get the retainer retaining clips off there's two on each valve stem Valve spring, top cap. And the valve comes out the other side. Now to get the bottom cap off, there's a seal here. It's a metal, it's rubber around a metal ring and it just takes a little bit of effort to wiggle off. Once you get it off, it's garbage. If you were doing this for real, you'd need to replace it. And then once you have that off, you can get the other valve spring cap off. So now we're gonna repeat that with the other three valves. One, two retaining clips. Valve tap. Valve.
spring cap. Next are the exhaust valves. One, two retainers. Retaining clip. Two retaining clips. That's the last piece. We should be able to. This is loose now. I fought with that. This is the knock sensor. If it's not this, then it's a crack piston or a ring. If this doesn't fix it, it's So out of everything we took off of here, this is probably the only thing worth keeping because these can go bad. They don't go bad often, but they can. The rest of it will go into the aluminum and steel recycling bins, and that'll be the end of the cylinder heads.